so in this video we will learn about a new component it's called refresh control refresh control is basically a component which we can use with scroll view or list view to add pull to refresh functionality i'm sure you have all seen uh, in real time application when you have a list uh, on the screen and you pull the list or we can say that you can scroll from top to bottom then there will be an activity indicator on the uh, top of the screen just below the status bar and after some time after few seconds you get the new data from this server so this type of functionality we can achieve with refresh control component so create a react native project and open it in visual studio code and run it on either ios simulator or android simulator i have already opened the ios simulator so first of all uh, let me just import text scroll view and refresh control uh, we'll be using refresh control component inside the scroll view let's say scroll view in this scroll view we have a prop called refresh control and inside of it we'll be using refresh control component refresh control component basically have two props the first one is refreshing refreshing basically takes boolean value first of all let me just uh, set it to false first and the second one is on refresh on refresh uh, uh, in uh, in on refresh props we basically provide a function um, which will call when user pull the list so let me just first of all change the background color to let's say yellow so you can know the differences clearly let me just set it to true in my press as you can see this is our activity indicator let me just put a text here also pull to refresh okay so first of all let me just create a state which will take care of this refreshing value refresh on refresh by default it will be false we'll be using that value in over here disappear because the uh, by default value is false so let me just create a function const let's say pull me uh, when user pull the uh, list first of all we set the refresh value sorry set refresh to true then we set timeout let's say after 4 second 4000 millisecond so when we call this function the refresh uh, state uh, change to true so user can see the activity indicator then after 4 second we will set to false again 
then we will save it and here we will pass that function on refresh pull me let me just save it so now uh, what we have done is we have created a state called refresh and by default value is false and in scroll view we are using refresh control uh, component and refreshing value is refresh state which is false by default and on uh, on refresh event we are calling the function pull me in pull me when pull me called we are setting this refresh uh, state to true uh, so that user can see the activity indicator and after 4000 millisecond or 4 seconds it turned to false so uh, we can assume that user gets the data so let me just save it and when you pull down as you can see it stay for the four second let me just increase this let me just increase this to 10 thousand milliseconds which means 10 seconds let me just pull it as you can see it works perfectly so in our future videos when we learn how you can fetch data from the api in react native we will be using this uh, refresh control component effectively there uh, i will show you how you can use it properly in re real time application to fetch the data from the api and it takes some seconds to refresh the data and in the meantime user will uh, we will be showing the user this activity indicator. So thanks for watching it.